Ahoy hoy there my friends! Today I'll bring you a fun and a devastating Nightblade build that I recently theory crafted. This build is a monstrous fighting machine with high speed ultimate generation and tremendous power. You'll be able to swing your ultimate almost as a spammable and continue on almost endlessly. Nightblades have an awesome ultimate generation and this build utilizes it. This is best suited for soloing stuff like dungeons where you'll encounter a lot of enemies at once. This build is quite easy to get as you don't have to do the most hardest content in order to get the gear. Alright, let's go! This build is full medium armor with divine straight. Our damage comes from raw weapon power and penetration. This build is full melee as our main weapon bar is dual wield and back bar is two handed. Mandestone is lover and the race that I chose for this is wood elf, but you can use a dark elf if you wish. With fully buffed though, wood elf tend to achieve over penetration, so you might need to switch the Mandestone for a warrior. Our critical rating is low, so we don't benefit from critical damage increase. Food is Dubius Cameron Throne or Arteum Takeaway Broth, so we can keep our stamina recovery at a decent rate. When fully buffed though, we achieve over 8k weapon damage and over 20k penetration while keeping it up quite constantly during a combat. Hearing is backbone of this build. They support each other and recharges the ultimate almost immediately, making you very, very powerful the longer you fight. Our monster set is none other than Balorg, which you can get from March of Sacrifices or from Golden Vendor if you're lucky. Balorg empowers us constantly as we keep hitting our ultimate. The second 5 piece set is Sheer Venom that helps this build in couple ways. It acts more or less as an aid for execution ability, as well as it adds damage over time to our enemies. The Ulti Charger is Deadwater's Guile set that can be found on Merkmire Overlands. Every time we kill enemy we get hefty amount of ultimate. With all the passives combined, you really don't need to kill a lot of enemies to recharge the ultimate. I use mace and sword with sharpnet trade, but they could be Nernhorned swords if you constantly hit the over penetration. Jewelry trades are bloodthirsty and infused with weapon damage cliff. You'll be doing the damage solely with front bar and you'll be buffing yourself from back bar. First skill of front bar is your main spammable and it is very effective surprise attack. Second skill is this build's AoE skill and also the finisher, Whirling Blades. It deals good amount of damage by its own and with the executive morph you'll burn the targets fairly easy. Third skill is toggle skill from Siphoning 3 to boost our magicka pool as well as ultimate regeneration. Leeching strikes ensures that we can stay in long fights with ease. Fourth skill is the damage over time skill, twisting path and also a speed booster if we need the speed to kite enemies. Fifth skill is the DPS burst and empowering skill, relentless focus. Make sure to keep it up all the time. Front bar ultimate is the fighter skills ultimate, flawless dawnbreaker. It is fairly cheap and it hits like a truck and also procs the fighter skills passive so we generate even more ultimate on kills. Alright, the back bar. First skill of back bar is dark shade. It is the weakener and aids you to deal some damage. Second skill is crippling grasp. It procs the siphoning ultimate generation passive and also it has the decent damage sticks. Third skill is Razor Caltrops. It has moderate damage sticks, but it acts as a weakener and applies the major breach to enemies. 
Also, this is your opener, as it is the only ranged AoE skill. Fourth skill is Vigor. A powerful healing skill, should you need it. Fifth skill is Forward Momentum. I chose this morph over Rally, as I don't need the extra heal, but I have a nice Snare Breaker. Backbar ultimate is Soul Tether. It is awesome ultimate, but it is for the panic situation where you need the burst heals quickly. CP allocation is pretty straightforward, so I'll just show my champion point allocation that you can build on. Some notes though. On the green tree, allocate champion points how you like. Be an adventurer or thief, suit yourself. On the blue tree, make sure you invest points into an overall damage increase as well as AoE and or damage over time skills. On the red tree, you can be more selective. But make sure you'll invest 50 points into bloody renewal, so you'll replenish your stamina often enough. Rotation differs a bit depending whether you are fighting against multiple enemies or single enemy. So called trash mobs you can just burn with AoE. But for veteran content and veteran trash mobs you should follow some sort of rotation. Single target is pretty easy. You buff yourself first and spawn your shade. Then you throw the caltrops and once they land combat begins and you cast your crippling grasp so you'll get the ultimate buff from siphoning 3. Cast the twisting path once you're on your target and if you have ultimate ready you start with that. If not, you start spamming your spammable hitting the spectral bow every time it's ready. Once you have your ultimate ready you cast it before you hit the spectral bow so you'll max out your burst and weapon damage. Recast the dots and AOEs once they wear off. Multiple target rotation is otherwise similar, but instead of main spammable, you'll spam the whirling blades. If you have the coin and you want some range or more protection, you can use weapon power potion instead of two-handed forward momentum to replace the major brutality and stamina recovery bones. You can change the forward momentum to carve to get the damage shield. Or you can be wild and replace two-handed with one-handed that shield and use the damage shield skill instead. Thank you for watching. I hope this is something you want to try and test out. If you wish to see more of my content and helpful videos, make sure you press the thumbs up and subscribe button. Or not, whatever you feel like. But remember to fight well and give them hell.